The IEBC selection panel has shortlisted five candidates for the position of electoral body's chairperson. The father, Dr. John Mutaha Kango, who chaired the task force on devolution. Rosalyn Odhiambo Odede, who was the vice chairperson of the judges and magistrates vetting board. Margaret Wambui Shava, who was in the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission. And the others are lawyers, David Mereka and David Kiprop Malakwen. Thirteen applicants, including High Court Judge Anyara Emukule, had sought to succeed Isaac Hassan. The shortlisted candidates will be interviewed on the 28th and the 29th of this month. Let's now link up with our senior reporter, Patrick Amimo, with details on how this particular process is going to be conducted. Good afternoon, Patrick. What exactly um, would the interview, interviewers be looking for in this particular process of interviewing the candidates? Oh, thank you so much, Akisa. Indeed, this particular uh, process will be long overdue. Remember the uh, Isaac led team was uh, was retired early early this month after the parliament uh, agreed on their way on the exit strategy after they were given um, uh, uh, that uh, uh, package to go home at least a year to the to the end of their term in, of, in, of duty in office. Uh, this particular selection panel, uh, the process, uh, the selection panel came, which is which is formed of interreligious uh, co members from the interreligious community, plus also the civil society, has been tasked to come up with a new IEBC. And we saw from the 13 members who applied for the position of chairperson, they have selected five as uh, people who will be interviewed on the on that week of Monday and Tuesday, that is the November 28th and 29th. Uh, these particular five candidates, um, they are supposed to, uh, after these particular interviews, uh, the, uh, the select committee will present two names to the president from which he will appoint one person for the, position of chair, for the position of chair. But in the interim, between now and the 28th, members of the public are required to present the, any petitions or memoranda they have about the selected five people on whether they are suitable to serve that particular position appointment or if they feel they are unsuitable, then they can present their reasons to the select panel whose office is at the county hall just adjacent to the National Assembly. So these are uh, the interviews will be selected on that particular Monday after uh, when when and if the selection panel gets any petitions on the or the five candidates. Akisa? Well, looking at the previous commissioners setting from the chair, among the issues that docked them were integrity issues. Are we expecting integrity to be paramount as uh, the search for the next uh, chairperson of IEBC continues? Indeed, issues of to do with integrity will be key because remember the Isaac led team has been hounded out of office because people could not trust the same commission to conduct the 2017 elections after what, uh, what was witnessed in 2013 with regard to the procurement of the BVR and ETR kits, the failure of technology on the election day and forcing the commission to revert to the manual, manual register and other malpractices that were uh, witnessed uh, with regard to the uh, to that uh, the procurement of those BVR kits. Remember, some commissioners were, were mentioned that as, as having influenced that tendering process. Uh, besides, even of that of uh, the, the result transmission system, so it was uh, felt that the the commission cannot conduct the 2017 elections. That's why they were hunted out of office. And we saw the opposition and the ruling jubilee administration agree to come up with a new election law and other electoral processes that will ensure that I. IBC, we recruit a new IBC that will oversee the 2017 election, plus new elections or procedures that will ensure that the 2017 polls are free, fair, simple, and satisfy all participants in that particular process. And this matter now, the select panel was very key when they were forming, uh, when they were constituting the, on the first day, they said they'll ensure that members will serve in the commission, from the chairperson to the commissioners, will be people who will will be people of high integrity, people will be able to uh, convince Kenyans that they can conduct a, cre a credible poll. That's why integrity will be key. The other issue that also we'll be looking at the chair is that, uh, you know, the, the, the person who is serving as IBC chair should be should have the same qualifications as a judge of the Supreme Court. And what are some of the uh, issues that uh, govern a judge through the Supreme Court? He must have at least 15 years experience having served uh, uh, as a judge. Uh, the other aspect to look at is that the person 
should be a distinguished scholar, uh, maybe of more than 10 years experience as, as a scholar. And looking from the list of candidates uh, who have been uh, shortlisted, the five, these are people with distinguished, either, uh, either some are distinguished scholars or have at least experience in legal, in the legal profession. That's why uh, they've come up with their names. And according to the timetable, uh, on November 30th, that's when the select panel uh, was expecting to give at least two names of the chairperson to the president, right. out of which he'll appoint one uh, for, 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 to forward to the National Assembly, that's the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, for vetting. All right, thank you very much, Patrick. That's our senior parliamentary reporter, Patrick Amimo, on details of the process that would be uh, for searching for the next uh, chairperson of the IABC. And as he says, five people have been shortlisted and the interviews will be conducted on the 28th of this month.